this section it shows you your purchases per month in liters. Okay. The amount you've done purchasing this is for June, July, August for this client. You can see the he purchased two thousand liters that month. Is that the in July one twenty two? You can also see the sales that you made on uh, different month. He did one sixty seven okay, here. Yes. yes. On this section here, it shows you the amount of fuel you have in your tanks. Okay. Yeah, this is like after closing the shift, it's able to show you the amount of fuel you expect your tanks to have. Okay. okay. <clears throat> then you run this comparison now with the dips that they take every day mm -hmm. and able to see if there are variances to that. Compare. Okay. Yes, yes, to compare. Yeah, if you have credit, credit customers, you're able to see their summary here. On the dependent transactions. Yeah, the, no, just the, their names and uh, their balances that they owe you. Okay. Oh, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then here we have functions that are mostly used on everyday basis to in a station. Mm -hmm. So I'll take you through these functions and then uh, I'll show you some reports. Okay. So the first function we have is a meter reading. Mm -hmm. uh, they use this when they are closing shift. Eh? I'll just go to list and then we just check this one. Oh, it's stations. Uh, let's use total. This for total. Now, these are all the pumps that are in that station. Okay. These are the opening meter reading. Now, this one is disabled for all users except the admin. Okay. This is the closing meter reading. When they're closing the shift, this is the, 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 num the meter number that they entered. Yeah, yeah, yeah it that. shows you the amount of fuel that was sold from each pump. Yeah, from the open it, to the closing. Yes, this is the rate of fuel. Mm -hmm. And this is the amount of money that each pump made. Eh? Okay, At so the yeah, pump, the, salesman, the salesman is where you, you can like add the, the name. Salesman the salesman here, this is where you put the attendant was on that uh, pump. Yeah, then at the bottom here, it gives you the summary per fuel. It shows you like diesel, they sold a 45.06. Kerosene, they didn't make any sale. And for petrol, they made a sale of 2496. Okay. Then at the bottom here, it will give you a summary of the total fuel sold in the station and the amount of money you expect from uh, the station. Okay. Now, after doing that, then you come to the sale of uh, rubricants, LPG, anything else other than fuel at the station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come to lubricant sale. Okay. <clears throat> you just try to edit one of the one that they put on the system. For example, on this day, these are the lubricants they sold. They sold 85 liter. It will give you a list and the amount of money you expect from the lubricant sale. Okay. We can just try to put one. If like, for example, you try to sell a six kg gas, mm -hmm. it's able to show you the stock that you have currently. Okay, so you can mm -hmm. really only you can reload the stock in the system, right? Yes, yes, and you're able to see your closing okay. stock. Here. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you're able to track uh, the movement of your stock. Mm -hmm. so the third function that we have is uh, the sale bill. This one, we use it for credit sales. Mm -hmm. For example, we want to send to like, you are, if now you have a customer called Mombasa Millers, this is for this client from uh, Mwingi, and you can be able even to, to have to put the vehicle that consumed that fuel. Okay. For, now for these credit sales, you're able to get uh, two reports from this. We have the credit sale report. Let me show you how it looks. You can be able to tell how much fuel you've sold uh, in the station. For example, you want to see how much fuel, how much diesel you've sold on credit. Mm -hmm. You're able to check using this report. You can be able to check if it's per month, per week, any time duration that you want. It will give you the date here, the nozzle that sold on, uh, on on credit, the amount of liters it is sold, and the amount of money here. Then at the bottom, you're able to get a summary of the yes and the amount of money that uh, you've sold on credit. Okay. Other than that, we have uh, 
the party wise report. This one will show you now a customer statement. Mm -hmm. Again, it's now his, uh, his payments. These are the invoices. This sale bill are the invoices. You get the amounts here and the dates. And his payments, they come on this other side. At the end here, you're able to see the balance that uh, he owes you. The same thing happens to the bottom here. You get the balance that he has not paid for the, the invoice that he has consumed. Okay. Also, if a customer asks for his statement, you're able to generate uh, a personal statement for a specific customer. For example, Mbasamila's. Now, if he has more than one vehicles, you can even give him a report for a specific vehicle. You just select the vehicle from here and you can get a report for a specific vehicle. Yeah. You know, this is the statement for this customer, specific for his only consumption only, and able to okay. see the amount of money that he has not paid here at the bottom. Okay. From there, we have uh, the voucher entry. This mm -hmm. is where you put uh, the expenses that happen at the station the payments okay. that you receive at the station and the, the banking that uh, is done daily after closing of shift. Okay, so uh, like, how does it work here? <clears throat> no, let me, uh, for example, let's say in a certain day, just assume today, they've made a sale of, uh, this is 56,000. Eh? So if they come mm -hmm. and say they banked 56,000, will come and transfer it maybe to, I think this client uses KCB, to transfer mm -hmm. the amount to 56,000 mm -hmm. to KCB. And then the owner, now you will come here and go to a report called a bank reconciliation and check your banking statement of every day, they have the bank every day. Again, it's now the, what do you call them? This bank uh, receipts that, that they usually bring oh. from the bank. Eh? So yeah. you're able to compare whatever you have on the receipts plus. Receipts and that's what you have in the system. Yes, yes, yes. And it will be able to show you how much they banked in, in that account for the period of time. And you're able okay. to compare with your bank statement. The same okay. way you're able to check the MPESA statement here mm -hmm. of the amounts that they've received uh, through MPESA, the payments that has been made through MPESA against what you have in your buy goods uh, number. The same way is if a, a station that has a card, eh, like the shell card or the total BV card, you are still able to get a statement of any payment that, that a client has made using uh, the cards. Okay. If they have visa, the same way you're able to get a statement for the visa payments. For example, this client has not received any amount using a visa. This, yeah, so this bank reconciliation will give you the payments, your banking, your mm -hmm. investor statement, uh, your visa statements, oh, all that. Yes. Then we have uh, this day book. Okay. Uh, this day book, it gives you a summary. For example, if you're in a hurry and you just want to know what happened on a certain, on a certain date, eh, you will just come to this day book and it will give you a summary of, in, of uh, the overview of, yes, yes. For example, if you go to, we select on date eight for total, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see the meter reading of that day. It will tell you total diesel sale was 212, total petrol sale was uh, 320. Then if it comes to the lubricant sales, it will show you all the lubricants that we are sold. They are opening and they are closing and the total amount here. It will come to the credit sales to tell you all these customers they consumed fuel on credit here on that specific day. It will come and tell you your uh, dipstick reading. And uh, on voucher entry, it will show you your banking. Like for this day, they banked uh, 207 to KCB. They had uh, 68,000 with BV card and uh, 155,000 of M-Pesa here. Now, if they had expenses, you should be able to see those expenses here as well. Okay. Then at the bottom here, it will give you a summary of what they say they did with the money they received. Eh? This is the okay. amount of money they received through meter reading. Mm -hmm. This is the lubricant they sold. Eh? 
and this is the total amount that they were supposed to bank. Mm -hmm. Now from, the, from this amount, they banked uh, 431,000. Mm -hmm. They claim they had 100,000 uh, invoice. So this one is re removed from this amount because these are credited. Mm -hmm. So the amount they are not able to explain in this case, they are not able to explain where this 61,000 went. So in case you find any amount here, is the amount that you are supposed to question. Okay. Yeah, but in this case, the next it, question. Yeah. The, the, oh, the deductible credit sales or which ones? Uh, yes, it, what it, it takes your total sale for the fuel, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. in, then adds to the total sale for lubricant. Mm -hmm. okay. You get this total here. Mm -hmm. From that total, it subtracts the amount that they banked. Eh? Okay. Then they subtract the credit sales. So for a good uh, calculation here, it's supposed to, to be below one shilling. Because supposed to balance the amount that you've made plus the banking and credit sales supposed to be zero here. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand now. Yeah, but for this client, he had an opening of 55,000. This is why you're seeing a big uh, amount here at the bottom. Okay, okay. So you can use this, this report just to check and be able to know if there is a shot at the station or if there is any problem at the station. Or like this okay. one is supposed to question why they have a balance of 61,000 yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So the other function that we have is uh, the purchase. This is where you do the purchases of well. Here you put uh, the invoice number. You select the location, for example, total. You can say supplier is total. We assume they bought a uh, diesel, for example, 10,000. 10, 10, if there is any short, eh, let's say maybe you ordered 10,000 and there was a short of 200, you put the short quantity in there. And able to get a report for this short quantity, mm -hmm. then the purchase price, that's the purchase price, this is the total amount of the invoice, and then you add. Oh, it doesn't give the sales price because this is the purchase price and not about the sale price. The, yeah. Because this is a purchase. Yeah, because yeah. this this is you are doing a purchase here. Yeah. It will show so you the purchase the, price. Eh? Okay, okay. But you're able to set uh, the pricing on a different mm -hmm. function. We call it rate master. Okay. If you come to diesel, mm -hmm. it should be able to show you. Let me go to up to. I think price has not changed for two months actually. Okay. So this is where you put the selling price and this is where you put the purchase okay. price and then it calculates your profit from here now. Okay. Yes, yes. So this one, you, they usually change every 14th, but I think in the last two months, price has not changed. That's why you're not okay. seeing it. Yeah. So the other function I can show you is, uh, let me log into a different account. Let me show you this one for lubricant. You do sell lubricants. Yeah, we do sell lubricants, the gas, everything. Okay, let me show you how to track uh, the stock report. So for example, you can select uh, the stock report for lubricant. You select lubricant. Check all if review. Select location of it. So for this one, it's able to show you all the items of lubricants LPG you have at the station. Okay. It's able to show you the opening balance, the amount of, of the pieces you had at, uh, on your opening. Okay. It's able to show you the purchases that you've made on that month. Okay. If you had any return, purchase return, it will show in this column. Okay. This stock in is when you have two stations and you need to, you maybe one stock is moving on another station you want to do a transfer. Okay. You'll be able to see all the stock that has been transferred in here. Okay. This total, it depicts your opening plus your purchase. You get like 120 pieces. Mm -hmm. And for like this customer, they have uh, 97. Stock out is what they've transferred here to 97. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And able to see your closing stock as 23. Okay. Yeah. Do you able to? This one is a daily report. Are you able to see anything that happens daily, how your your lubricants are moving. Okay. The same way you're able to get uh, the same for fuel. You can check for diesel. Still the same with, with diesel. They opened with this amount of liters. They did these purchases. These are the total liters they had in the station. They sold these liters and uh, this the amount of fuel that they're supposed to have in their tanks now. Okay. Then I can show you. Let me log into another account that uh, those that they have dips. Eh? Okay. Uh, we check the DSR report. Check dip. We select uh, can copy and preview. Can check this one. Okay. For example, for this client, eh, this was mm -hmm. the, the this was the deep the opening balance for the this was the deep, eh? Yeah, the deep. Okay. And then uh, this the amount of fuel that was sold through the meter reading, four hundred and twenty three. Okay, through the day. Yes, yes. For okay. they sold four hundred and twenty three liters. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you come to this one, eh, through when they check the deep eh, the amount that was not in the tank was 738 eh? okay. so on this day they have a neg they had a negative of 314 liters that, yeah that they didn't know where it went eh? okay then on the second day you can see you are our closing our closing stock is here mm -hmm. 10962 it comes as the opening of the next day here mm -hmm. then on this day they sold uh, 268 liters but in their tank, the tank sales here, you're able to see they sold 282. So there was a variance of again uh, 13, 13 liters. 13. Yeah. So you're able to track uh, your, 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 dip, your, dip, your tank sales versus uh, the meter sales. And you can see the variances that you are receiving here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we also have. Uh, Financial reports like profit and loss, you're able to see how much profit you are making at the station. Okay. Let me show you the trading account first. The trading account, this one will show you the opening stock that you started with, the purchases you've made against your sales and uh, the closing mm -hmm. stock. You can check the balance, the, the profit and loss. This is the profit and loss. I don't know for this client is not showing. Let me let me see the trade. Let me look. In. Oh, this is a new client, that's why it's not showing. Let's go to to the same time. Thing is on her. Profit and loss. Start with the trading account. You're able to see that it shows you the profit here after calculating your purchases <clears throat> against your stock plus the whatever you've closed with and your sales you get the profit and loss there you also have uh, the balance sheet you're able to see your balance sheet from here you're also able to do your returns from the software mm -hmm. To come to you don't need to you don't need an accountant to come and do your uh, your monthly return the whole report for the returns is here this is the total sale the total sales they've made it's <laughs> okay <laughs> We also have this function here for audit trail. Okay. You're able to know who accessed the system and what they did on the system. Mm -hmm. 
for this client he has disabled his own uh, or it's yeah, showing okay. you're able to see who did what like this is saying this uh what have he deleted something on 14th of, of june if anybody logs into the system and makes a change you're able to track that and know who did that change on the on the system no, the data is kept yes 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 the data is kept of every day every when every time you log in it it is able to tell to tell what you logged in and what you did on the system and at, uh, at what time okay okay yes so we also have uh, user rights if you have like a manager or somebody who manages the system you are able to assign them uh, tasks so that they don't mess up with the system you can decide what you want them to do on the system Okay. So you give them the rights not to be able to manipulate the system. Okay. Yes, yes. I don't know if there is anything else maybe I've not uh, touched on that you'd like maybe to ask. No, so far so good because I, I feel like the software the software has been broken broken down well that you can able to capture everything that's happening in the station. Yeah. So far I'm learning it. Okay, okay. Also the the software is cloud based. Eh? You don't need to be at the station. Okay. To be able to see yeah, me, to see this data so let me ask for example yeah. like uh i'm managing and i'm in nairobi and the station is like uh, uh can i use the like the station is far away yeah can i be able to manage the station from here yes 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 like what, a, what, yeah if what they, they they just need the if you're the one who's managing the data mm -hmm. you just need to get uh, like the meter reading the lubricants they sold Mm -hmm. And then you just input the data and you're able to know how much they're supposed to bank and all that. Plus now you're able to see all your stock. Okay. Yes. At the same time, if like you have two stations, eh? Okay. And they're being managed maybe by the managers at uh, the site, at the, the stations, eh? Mm -hmm. You're able to keep touch and know what they're doing on the system and to see the sales they're making and check all your stock, all that. Okay. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And someone can like print, they can get like, a, can print the, like the, the data. Yes, yes, the, or yes, you're able to print, you can also download to Excel or PDF. Okay, can you show me maybe? Yes, location. Um, for example, these are sales report for the meter reading. Mm -hmm. Can uh, print this. This is a printer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, you can also export it to Excel or PDF. Okay, I see, I yeah. see. Yeah, as That's well as nice. uh, the customer statements, you're also able to print them. If they ask for their statements, you can also download as PDF and send it to them via email. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask another. So, how is the software like installed like, from the station and everything? It, it's a subscription so what we create we create for you an account okay and then uh, we give you a link and then you're able to access uh, the system from now 